welcome back to Goodnight Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dart, the enemy to read you another story. And I have another, another book that we get to help somebody in the book. Remember, we did the bear book and we did the unicorn book. And now we're going to read a book called oh, There's a Dragon in Your Book. There's a dragon in your book. A dragon? How can we help a dragon? Dragons are big and fierce. What can we do to help a dragon? Well, I guess we're going to have to get into this book and find out and see what they want us to do. Are you ready to get into this book and help Miss Dorothy help this dragon? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. There's a dragon in your book written by Tom Fletcher. Oh, look, there's an egg in your book. It looks ready to hatch. Whatever you do, don't turn the page. Don't turn the page. Oh, I can't believe you did that. The egg hatched, and now there's a dragon in your book. Don't be scared. It's a baby dragon. Go ahead and tickle her little nose. Tickle, 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 tickle. Aw, cute baby dragon. Oh no, we made baby dragon sneeze! Oops! The dragon accidentally sneezed a fire in your book. We need to put it out quickly. Help dragon blow out the flame and turn the page. Will you help Miss Dorothy blow the fire? Ready, one, two, three. Oh no! Your dragon didn't blow out the fire, she blew more fire. Carefully cover the flames by turning the page and temp it down. That should put them out. We have to put out this fire. Uh, oh, it didn't work. They're getting bigger. Don't get too close. If only we could think of a way to put out this fire. That's it. Let's use your imagination to put out the fire. Imagine a great big water balloon right in the middle of the next page. Make sure it's full and ready to pop. Okay, ready? Look, a big water balloon. Now, perfect. Now use your finger to pop the balloon and get ready, pop, pop. Get ready for the splash. There goes dragon. Hooray! You put out the fire. Give Dragon a high five. Woo! Woo! High five, Miss Dorothy. You have a great imagination, and Dragon must be a little hungry now. Why don't you use your imagination again and think up a yummy treat for her? How about a triple scoop of yummy ice cold chocolate and strawberry? Ice cream with sprinkles. Wow, that looks delicious. Yum. Well, Dragon must be tired after all that adventure. I think it's time for her to fly home. She's probably very full. She's going to need some help taking off. Flap the book up and down like giant dragon wings. Flap, 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 flap. Almost there. Keep flapping. Flap, flap, flap. Fly, dragon, fly. Let's see if it worked. There she goes. Goodbye, dragon. Wave goodbye. And turn the page. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. What is this? Oh, look. More eggs. Whatever you do, don't. Turn the page. Ah! Uh-oh. I think it's time to close the book carefully because there's a lot of dragons hatching in this book. Uh-oh. Now there's going to be lots of dragons. We do need to close this book. This book was a lot of work. We had a lot to do to help that little dragon who kept breathing fire everywhere. And now, oh, lots of dragons are going to hatch out of this book. This was a good book, but it was a lot of work. Did you like helping Miss Dorothy help that dragon? Good, because I liked helping that dragon, and I liked reading this book to you. It was a lot of fun. These books are a lot of work, but I sure do like them. I wonder if I can find any more. Hmm, 
I'll have to go look on that bookshelf and see what's up there so I can read another one of those books to you. But not tonight. Tonight it's time for all my little dragons to fly off into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, when you're out running around with all the other little dragons in town, obey and obey right away. And come back and see Miss Dorothy, because I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.